Our next speaker is Jerry Sevo James, the founder of Explore Kentucky Initiative and the Waterman Series. Jerry promotes adventure tourism, environmental protection, and community and cultural exploration across Kentucky and, and beyond. Through the Explore Kentucky Initiative the Water, and the Waterman Series, and through his past service and as a steering committee member of the Kentucky Rural Urban Exchange, he has worked with communities on outdoor recreational events, branding initiatives, conservation projects, and more. An avid paddler, he was given a National Leadership Award by the American Canoe Association. He also uses photography, cinematography, and journalism to tell stories about the landscapes and people he encounters. In 2017, Lexonomics named him the most impactful artist in the bluegrass. Please welcome Jerry. Hey, good morning, y'all. How y'all feeling this morning? Y'all feeling good? Awesome. Glad to be here at WKAU. So my talk title was originally named Don't Do It For The Clout, but you know, being that y'all are, I remember back when I was y'all's age, my parents, my teachers always told me not to do things and that didn't motivate me not to do them, I wanted to do them. <laughs> so I changed it up. So my title, my, my talk is Chronicles of a Low-Key Viral Star. What does viral mean? Or what do y'all think viral means? Popularity. <laughs> yeah, so basically like my, my narrative, my story I wanna tell y'all is how I, I navigated having a vibrant social media presence while doing a lot of good work across the state. So, oops, went too far. There's pictures of me. This might be some of y'all in the next couple of years. Um, in college, documentary film class, getting my, um, graduating from college, also served in the Air Force Reserve. So I had like a lot of ingredients for things that I like wanted to do, could do, and, but I didn't really know. Um, so one day I was in my dorm room at Campbellsville, Campbellsville University, right up the street, really good school, and I created this Instagram account. How many of y'all have Instagram in here? Like everybody, everybody's like, yeah. So I know some of y'all, y'all's age, like some of y'all like, I'm past Instagram, it's all about Snapchat and like TikTok. Uh, <laughs> so I made this Instagram account, Explore Kentucky. And at the time it was like 2013. Kentucky Tourism wasn't on there, State Parks wasn't on there, a lot of y'all's favorite brands didn't, weren't really, didn't weren't on there. And so my goal was to promote outdoor recreation and environmental education by using this account. <clears throat> and it, it, it popped off. People from all around the state started following it, um, hashtagging Explore Kentucky, putting up their pictures, and it was a really, forged a really awesome digital community. And as you can see, like, as of actually today, it just hit um, 48,000, 48.8 thousand folk from all around the state. Um, <clears throat> so, the thing, though, about um, social media, Instagram, what I've noticed is that there's people that chase clout with it, or they chase the whole influencer bag thing. Like, you know, like, hey, like, here's some, like, flat tummy tea, or here's, like, a bag, and you put it up on your Instagram, and you get money for it, right? Have you all seen that product placement stuff? And I was like, I mean, not to be, like, negative, I thought that was kind of lame. <laughs> I wanted, I was like, it, I didn't feel like it was, like, authentic to myself, and I didn't want to be like tied down to that whole kind of concept of pushing product in exchange for funds, because that was never my goal. So this is what, I, in the beginning, I, um, you know, I did a little bit of that. I had like, you know, stickers. Um, I was in the newspaper for traveling all around, doing, uh, promoting the outdoor recreation, social media. Um, I was interviewed, and and then I worked for the Nature Conservancy and stuff like that, and I wrote articles for different magazines about outdoor places around the state, but it, I wasn't really honing in really on what I wanted to do. So in 2016, and sorry I'm looking at this, we said they told us not to look at it, I forgot there's a monitor right there. <laughs> in 2016, I decided to make Explore Kentucky, this social media thing, into an entity, a social enterprise. 
So it's called the Explore Kentucky Initiative now, and our goal is to uplift Kentucky's people and its lands. There we go. So started doing a lot of work. <laughs> So there's me, there's a bunch of cool pictures of me around the state and with friends. And so I started, I was, I wanted to like not just do social media, I wanted to work on like a lot of different projects. And I wanted to have an impact all around Kentucky and use the Instagram account to support these efforts. So in t one of the first programs that I did was uh, explore Kentucky's ancient forests. How many of y'all have heard of Blanton Forest State Nature Preserve? How many of you have heard of like Harlan County at all? A few people. So Harlan County is like where our state's highest point is. It's where Black Mountain is. And there's a really cool nature preserve there that it's an old growth forest, so it hasn't, it hasn't been cut for, um, it hasn't been cut for timber since like the early 1800s. So it's this really cool um, forest and has some really interesting geological features. And so Kentucky Natural Land Trust, they have been following me on Instagram and they reached out one day and they're like, hey, like, we should partner up together. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. So we created this whole hike program and we used the Instagram account to promote um, people to come to the hike. And since then, um, 2016, we've had over 100 people from all around come to, do, come to that, come on that hike. And this is a really cool picture from it. There's me, that's on, there's this really cool um, rock on the trail um, at Bland Forest. It's called Nobby Rock. Some of the locals call it Naughty Rock. And it's, a, it's formed by this process called differential weathering. But, and then there's this really cool rock shelter. And y'all see that graffiti right there on the rock right there? One of my goals one day is to like, um, get a rope, rappel down, and clean, clean it off. <laughs> it's something I've been thinking about for years. 2016 was another pivotal year. I, wrote, I did a video for Kentucky Tourism about rock climbing, and it screened at a film festival, and this librarian in Powell County, um, she was like, hey, can you do something with my kids to take them like, outside in the Red River Gorge? How many of y'all been in the Red River Gorge at all? Great place. Red River Gorge, it's one of the, it's a national geological area, awesome hiking trails, one of the number one places in the world to come and rock climb. And so me being energetic, I was like, oh, I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna take folk rock climbing. But then I realized, oh, the liability and stuff like that. So I decided to create a festival right in front of the library. So we had rock climbing walls, um, we had pizza, different vendors, and it was a fun experience. Sorry, y'all again. <laughs> Here's some pictures from it. And then I also, 2017, moving to 2017, I created this thing called the Kentucky Waterman Series. So I'm big into paddle sports racing, kayaking, stand-up paddle boarding. And so I wanted to create an event series that gets people traveling all around Kentucky to see all our different waterways. Like, I don't know if y'all know this, but, but Kentucky has some of the highest, well, the highest amount of mileage of waterways in the country. And um, so I created this whole race series and we had people come from like California, West Virginia, Ohio, Tennessee, Georgia, and stuff like that. And a weaving, a narrative that I wanna weave through this is like, I really used the social media to promote all this stuff. And, and it was really awesome because like a lot of other folk were like, oh, you need to use newspapers, you need to go on television. And I didn't do that as much, I just do it up because that's the way people communicate nowadays. <laughs> and then there's some like, numbers <laughs> and then there's a bunch of newspaper articles so we've the waterman series has done events probably in some of your your communities this was a funny project beaver creek blueway trail how many of y'all any of y'all from barron county glasgow area so i was driving to bowling green one day and the mayor of glasgow's office called me they said hey I, we saw on your instagram story that you're driving to bowling green and they said, the mayor wants you to stop by his office. And I was like, how did the, I was like, this is great. The mayor of Glasgow like follows me on Instagram or whatever. So I pull up in Glasgow and the mayor, he's like, hey, hop in my truck. And I was like, okay. And <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So we go in this truck and we go to this like creek and it's called Beaver Creek. And he's like, do you think this could be somewhere that people could paddle? 
and um, do you think this would be a place where people could canoe and stuff like that? And so I said, let's look at it. So then I created like a scope of work to clean out the stream. The stream had a ton of trash, um, had a lot of erosion, um, it had trees blocking it, all kinds of different things. So I worked with my friend Carolyn Sexton, she's a ge geologist. We mapped the stream, we came up with a stream cleanup, cleanup program. And then here's some of the, the fruits of our labor. Oh yeah, and we worked with the Mammoth Cave National Park, so they helped, they sent some sawyers out. Sawyers are their forest, forestry workers, and they helped us um, with chainsawing in the stream. We built um, access points to get into it. So if any of y'all tell your parents, take you take to Glasgow, go paddle on the Beaver Creek Blue A Trail. And then we also had like a, some, uh, a river cleanup. So we had the public come out, and I think we removed, um, we've had two cleanups since then. We've removed like over 25,000 pounds of trash. And then we also put up access points on the stream as well. Then I'm trying to breeze through, because I got four minutes left. <laughs> I could talk all day. <laughs> um, I love sharing projects, it's, and I would love for some of y'all in the future to come like work with Explore Kentucky. But um, another project to start working on this year was Red River Gorge United. So in the Red River Gorge, uh, they're, they're trying to build a destination resort, and the gorge is really widely beloved for its like kind of like rural, quaint, wilderness type area. And so a lot of the local community they were like concerned about it. So I reached out and I, I call them, I, a lot of the work that I do is very tactical. I go in, people ask me to go in and I help provide like expertise and stuff. And so we created this whole um, community-based um, activism project to kind of come up with an alternative um, to building a big giant resort because there's cabins that exist there. There are small businesses that exist there. So this organization, which became a nonprofit um, over the winter, is meant to kind of incubate, incubate a small, sustainable growth plan for the region. And then again, <clears throat> the Waterman series. The Waterman series has grown so much um, around Kentucky that folks from, from all of, from different states start hitting me up. They said, hey, we want one of your Waterman paddle, paddle sports race floats event, float events in our state. So I decided just to drop the Kentucky and now it's just the Waterman series. So now it's in West Virginia, Pennsylvania, Ohio. Um, it's, we're trying to take over. <laughs> and then here's some pictures from the series. If I can get my clicker to work. Um, how many of y'all, I know I keep asking questions, <laughs> but how many of y'all have been to Ken Lake, Ken Lake State Park? A few. Did y'all know that the Kentucky State Park system was segregated? Anyone knew that? Did anyone know that? So up until the 1960s, black folk like me, we were not allowed to utilize the majority of Kentucky's um, recreation and park facilities. So Cherokee was the only park that black folk could go to. So Ken Lake was the white park, Cherokee was the black park and it was one of three black state parks in the south, and it was one of the finest, it was a really great state park. And um, so the park, after desegregation, it went dormant for a while, people forgot about it. And um, Murray State used it for like their rowing team and stuff like that, and then a nonprofit when I was in middle school was formed, and to call the Friends of Cherokee to kind of bring it back to life. They did some things, revitalized the lodge and stuff, but then folks got older, and. And, um, and then it kind of sat dormant for a while. So we came back um, just this past year and we're creating this whole Cherokee Historic State Park um, Outdoor Adventure Weekend. So we're gonna bring people from all around the country to kind of hike, paddle, canoe, do, we're gonna have talks and, and cycling and stuff to kind of celebrate the history of black recreation in Kentucky. And my hope is like for this weekend to inspire like people that look like me and to pursue um, fields in like outdoor recreation and, and, and environmental education and, and protection and to know that we do have a legacy of doing this. So these are some photos from Cherokee. Um, so we were asked to present or give you all some discussion questions. So mine are, how do you use your digital presence and are you keeping it real online? And the reason why I ask those things is because 
since I was like a youth, I, you know, back in my day, um, 30 now, I was on MySpace and I was using MySpace to promote like recycling and river cleanups and stuff like that. And then the other question, are you keeping it real online? Because online, we can kind of curate this like really awesome image of ourselves. And I think it's important always to be authentic in everything that you do. And of course, I want you all to hit me up. Um, I have a lot of social media stuff. So Explore Kentucky, um, the Waterman series, and you can follow us on, Explore, um, on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and shoot me an email, because I'm trying to look, I'm kind of, it's kind of expanding from this like one man road show to needing more people. So the next couple years you all graduate, you know, I could use some like researchers, I could use some project managers, I could use a lot of different things, and I'd love to work with y'all. But that's all I got for y'all, and um, I appreciate your time.